Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my last year Christmas decorate with me. This video was one of my very first videos here on YouTube and back then I barely had any subscribers. So I'm pretty sure some of you, if not a lot of you guys haven't seen it. So today I thought that I would share it with you. I hope you like it. And if you do, please let me know in the comment below because my Christmas Clean and Decorate With Me 2022 is coming soon and I can't wait to decorate with you guys. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell button and to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and let us all enjoy this video. So I started with the front porch by taking all my false decorations down and replaced them with the Christmas ones. I decorated almost the entire house so this video took a little over a week to film so you are going to be seeing a lot of clothes changing um, I didn't want the video to be too long so I tried to include a uh, film as much as possible but at the end of the video I'm going to give you guys a little house decor tour so make sure you watch until the end. My husband got us something to drink before we start. And here is our little assistant for the day. <laughs> he likes to help. Even though he makes everything takes longer, we still think it's so cute that he wants to help. For this year, I decided to have two Christmas trees in the house. So we're going to start with this one. It's a, a 12 foot tall tree we're going to have in the living room. And then the second one going to be a small tree that I'm going to put in the dining area.
Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. Uh, we realized last minute that we didn't get any uh, baby first Christmas ornament for Grace so we took a quick trip to our local uh, Christmas store to get some so we're gonna take you along with us This is the next day and we're still decorating the tree uh, So uh, the first ornament we put on the tree was uh, the baby first Christmas ornament we got for Grace yesterday So since she's the newest in the family uh, We gave her that honor and put the baby's first Christmas ornament on the tree We did the same for John when he was born so uh, we thought that it might be a good idea to just keep the tradition our little tradition and then do the same for her too This is day three or day four, I can't even remember. 
and I'm still trying to finish this tree you know it's a little hard when you have little kids and you have this huge tree to decorate it, it, it takes time so this is I believe the fourth day and I'm gonna try finishing this tree today <laughs> uh -huh. So uh, what I like about our local Christmas store is they have all these cute uh, customized um, Christmas ornaments. So I found this Nubian Queen Angel that I bought there that I really like. So I make sure to place it right next to um, the baby's first ornament so the pink and white one is for Grace and the blue one is for John so I put the angel there that's like me looking after them protecting them and I, I love it I don't have a tree skirt for my tree I tried looking for one but uh, all of the things I saw in the, the store were either too small for the tree or just not the right color. So I came up with this idea of using a blanket under the tree and it worked perfect. you guys I need to tell you about this tote uh, we got it from Lowe's it has two wheels and it makes it so easy to just wheel heavy stuff around um, I just keep all the heavy ornaments which are our gar garlands in it and you just wheel it around you don't have to carry it lift it to break your back Here is my second tree, the smaller one that I'm keeping in the dining area.
all the ornaments that I'm going to put on it. Uh, I'm going for uh, the traditional colors, red and green and put in some golds. Also decorated the foyer but I don't want to include that uh, clip in this video because I don't want the video to be too long but you guys going to see that in the house decor tour Spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been long to hold you close Now I'm decorating the upstairs uh, I'm using this garland uh, I'm not sure if I will use this garland next year again because they're not really bendable they kind of um, hard to work with so I'll probably get new ones next year if you guys made it this far thank you so much for being here today and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and from now I'm gonna let you enjoy this mini house decor tour and always come back for more video Merry Christmas
Hello guys, welcome to Get It All Done with Abra. If you're new here, my name is Abra and I am so happy to have you today. Yes, it's Christmas. I'm not here for you to blow your one and only chains. And to all my lovely returning subscribers, I am so thankful for you. Thank you so much for rocking with me. As we all know, Christmas is in a few days and this is the best time to get all the last minute things done on your list. Either you're hosting for this Christmas holidays or spending it in family, I have this easy and beautiful tablescape idea to share with you. Here are the stuff I'm going to be using to create this tablescape. Uh, they came from different places, Walmart, Home Goods, Amazon, and even Dollar Store. Um, I'm going to uh, let you guys know where I got each of them from as we go and try to link the ones that I got from Amazon. I'm going to start with wiping down my table very quick. And for this table set, I decided to use a tablecloth. I got this beautiful tablecloth from Walmart last year and I'm going to tell you later why I picked this particular one. Let us make memories that stay forever. It's Christmas today. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up. This town, and as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing. Here I have Merry my placemats, they are a set of four. I needed six of them, so I got two sets. They are $14.99 each, and they're from Home Goods. Now, let's go set this table. These are the plates I'm going to be using. You guys, let me tell you a little story about these plates. They were gifted to me by my lovely mother-in-law. She got her first set as a wedding gift, and this has been in the family for over 60 years. Yes, 60 years. I feel very special to have them, and I think I'm gonna keep them forever. It's a whole set. Uh, I have salad plate, dessert plate, uh, tea cups, and more. But today we're only going to be using these two. And this is the salad plate. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, I'm in love. Yes, it's Christmas. It's a magic time. Can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up. This dinnerware storage are perfect uh, to storage your plates. Uh, I'm gonna try to link them in the description below. They can be found on Amazon. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer Let our loved ones, our family and friends With so much love 
And with joy and laughter Let us make Memories that stay Forever It's Christmas Today Now I'm placing my salad plates we're not having any dessert at the end, so I'm not placing any dessert plates. Next, I have my silverware. If you know me, you know my love for anything gold. Plus, it's Christmas. It's a special occasion, so I feel like I should use a gold silverware. They are from Walmart. Uh, I can't remember how much they were, but they were under $30. They came individually wrapped, which I really like about it. And look at this beauty. It looks so fancy. It just takes your table to another level. These are my water glasses. Um, it has this beautiful Christmas tree printed on it. I am so in love with this detail. So the knife goes to your right with the cutting part facing your plate, uh, followed by the tablespoon. And then your dinner fork and your salad fork will go to the left. I like to put my wine glasses right above my knife and my water glass is right next to it. And last, I'll put my napkins. It's white outside. And the night is cold. So here I'm just gonna repeat the Everyone same process and do it for the rest of the plates I have on the table. Yes, it's Christmas. Here I'm just going to show you guys how I achieved this look on my napkins and how I placed the napkin rings on them. Christmas 
the beginning of the video i was telling you guys the reason why i picked up that particular tablecloth uh, it's because it already has this uh, centerpiece prints on the on the tablecloth which i really like so i am just gonna do a diy centerpiece because i don't want anything too big that uh, will cover that beautiful print the tablecloth came with Time to cheer. Let our loved ones, our family, and friends have a Christmas. So I'm using this clear vase that I have, uh, and then all these flowers uh, I picked them up from the dollar store. So this is how it came out. Uh, I decided later to um, put some ornaments in the vase so it's more uh, Christmassy and colorful. Here are some pine cones that I picked up from my backyard uh, just to give this table a little uh, personal touch still going for that Christmassy look if you guys would like to know how I decorated the big Christmas tree behind me make sure you check my previous videos So this takes us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel and come back for more videos. It's a magic time